This is the Australian National University Library. And this is how search engines work. The most important thing you need to know is that search engines and databases do not speak our language. This includes ANU Library's amazing databases, as well as Google, Google Scholar, ProQuest, Web of Science, and any database you use to get information. Essentially, all databases use a search algorithm language to try to turn the keywords we type in into computer language. A lot of people get to a search engine and just randomly plug in words and phrases until they get what they're looking for. But there is a faster and more efficient way to do things. Instead of typing something like environmental sustainability in Australia, which by the way searches for anything containing the word environmental and sustainability and in and Australia, we can actually be way more specific. Remember, the search engine is not a person. It can't infer or guess what you want. You can end up getting all sorts of things you were not expecting. If instead we type environmental sustainability and Australia or Australian and not tourism, we get a way more accurate and manageable search yield. What I've done here is use some computer language known as Boolean operators. The name isn't important, just trust me. This is going to save you time and stress by communicating more accurately with the search engine, getting you the results you need to do your research. Using the AND operator in all caps connects keywords, telling the search engine that we want only content containing all of the linked keywords, environmental sustainability and Australia. But what about synonyms? The concept of environmental sustainability can be expressed in a lot of different ways. Just because this phrase may turn up in your research question doesn't mean that that is how it's going to be written in the resources you are looking for. Search engines take our keywords very literally. That is when we can use the OR operator. It's very useful when there are multiple synonyms for a word or alternate spellings like globalization. Look at this search. Environmental sustainability or sustainability or sustainable and Australia or Australian or Australasian. This expands your search, letting you see more potential sources without needing every keyword to be present. This means you do not have to do as many searches to get the resources you need. But what about the problem of too many results? That's when we use the and not operator. Roll this one out when you're getting too many results that just don't relate to your topic. Like when you were getting photos of cats on scanners when looking up cat scans. The minus symbol also works in this capacity and really saves you time sifting through resources to find relevant materials. So how does that look? Environmental sustainability or sustainability or sustainable and Australia or Australian or Australasian and not tourism and not ecotourism. Minus tourism, minus ecotourism. So to summarize, and connects keywords and narrows your search or broadens your search results and accounts for synonyms and alternate spellings. And not or minus gets rid of results that are clogging up your search yield. Remember, in research, you can continue to randomly type in keywords and phrases into a search engine, hoping for the best. Alternatively, there's Boolean. Save time and stress. Choose Boolean.